We have an exclusive interview with the Archbishop elect of the Archdiocese of Accra, Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi. You are welcome. Thank you so much, Father. Your Grace, how did you receive the news of this appointment? <laughs> this is one of the questions very difficult to answer. It's not something I was looking forward to. And so it came to me as Israel with a big shock. Uh, somebody from uh, this small place, Akonwai, uh, now Bishop of Takra, the Second Takra Diocese, and just from nowhere, uh, shot up to be the Archbishop of uh, Accra. So it's not easy. I'm still trying to manage the whole uh, uh, experience uh, since. different places, uh, specifically uh, for formation in West Africa, uh, Gambia, uh, Cameroon, and Nigeria, uh, and uh, Liberia. Then after ordination, I went on mission. I, I, I ministered in the, the Gambia. I was there for three years. And I went to Rome for studies. And then from that time, I, it's, uh, I've been in the position of responsibility. After my studies, I came back and I was uh, serving the spiritual congregation as a provincial. And I, from after some time, then I went to uh, Rome to continue leadership uh, role in the congregation of the Holy Spirit, the Spiritans. And then at the end, I thought I would have some rest for my soul. <laughs> uh, it didn't happen that way. Yeah. Um, uh, during my sabbatical at Duquesne University, yeah. I was teaching, uh, I was selected to become the Bishop of Second Okay. So what I was looking for after all these years of uh, uh, ministry, uh, leadership ministry in the congregation of the Holy Spirit, at the end I thought, well, I could enter into uh, some academic life and yeah. this and that, and uh, I was brought back to be the Bishop of St. Sacred okay. which of course I have, uh, for the past four years, I've really enjoyed it. Okay. I've enjoyed it in the sense that I have with me a body of priests who are good collaborators. Okay. They work so well with me, okay. and I, I believe um, even if it's been four years of real hard work trying to uh, touch various sectors of the diocese, yeah. it's been with joy because okay. of the collaborators who are always available. Okay. Uh, okay. And I, I thank God for that okay. because uh, if uh, you are working and don't, you don't have uh, good collaborators, yeah. that already saps your energy for yeah. nothing. So the four years, I, as I said, is been joyful. I've okay. enjoyed my ministry okay. as bishop okay. just because I have good people who are collaborating with me ready. Okay. Anytime you call on them, they are ready to come and okay. offer the assistance. Okay. And not just the priests, also the lay people. Okay. The lay people have been just wonderful, just wonderful. I'm still struggling to know them because, as I mentioned, uh, most of my life until date has been outside the country. A good part of it has been outside the country. But I come back and I'm trying to... Uh, get to know the people, uh, uh, to be available to them, uh, and of respond to the pastoral uh, 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 demands of the diocese. And then just after four years, I'm asked to go to Accra. Yeah. But it's all about providence. Uh, I believe so much in God's providence. Uh, and so I have no way to re resist it. But when I was informed, they told me the Holy Father wants me to go to uh, Accra. It wasn't easy for me. And as I mentioned, I'm still struggling through it. Yeah. But at the end, it's God who is at work and who is calling me. So I only pray that I'm going to meet people who welcome me in Accra. I told the, the secretary to the news here who informed me, I saw somebody like me from a small tribe that hunter, hunter people in the western region being called to go to work in Accra. I mean, how are the people going to, how are the people going to receive me? Yeah. But uh, I, I think God is greater than all this. Yeah. You know, so I, I throw myself to to, to the wind, uh, uh, to uh, open myself to the, to God's spirit, to direct me in the way uh, uh, he wants. Okay. Now, Bishop, 
what does this new challenge in your ministry represent for you? Uh, yes, as I mentioned, uh, God has his own way. Okay. And many times uh, we struggle with what, what God wants in our lives. Yeah. You know, I mentioned about providence. Yeah. How did it happen that uh, I, I came to Takwadi as a, a bishop of Second Takwadi Diocese? It's not something I look forward to. And I believe anybody who is in the church, uh, we are called to serve. You don't look for it. If you're looking for it, then you're really not a person to be, take, to be selected or appointed for that type of ministry. So God calls us to serve in such positions. Uh, what it means to me is that uh, I, I have to open myself to God's spirit because okay. uh, being taken from this place to go to uh, Accra, yeah. I believe Accra has so many faces, yeah. multidimensional and more than Takrade. Yeah. Uh, so I believe the challenges in Accra, I, I cannot presume the challenges in Accra. But again, um, what it means to me, I look forward to having another uh, 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 a presbyterium, a body of priests, uh, with whom I'm going to work, and then uh, with whom we are going to fashion a vision for Accra Archdiocese. You know, I always say that it's not mine to impose a vision on a place I do not even know. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I was elected uh, bishop, somebody asked me about uh, just a day after my election as bishop, what vision do you have for St. Accra? I said to myself, well, I've just been appointed. I don't even know uh, the people I'm going to work with. I don't know the situation. How can I uh, fashion out a vision? So allow me to meet the people. And that is why that uh, actually inspired me to immediately call a synod okay. of the diocese. And through discussions, I could know how to fashion a and vision for the diocese. For the diocese. Okay. And as I mentioned, it's a vision that all of us share in. Mm, okay. yeah. I am the driver yeah. uh, uh, at the front seat yeah. trying to move the diocese forward. But and, uh, I believe in Accra too, I will want to adopt that type of uh, style okay. that we all fashion a vision. What type of uh, uh, church do you want uh, in Accra Archdiocese? Okay. As I mentioned, it has different faces, the rural uh, aspect of Accra and okay. also the urban Hold aspect on. of Accra. Okay. And the needs are uh, many. Uh, you know, it's, it's a real cosmopolitan location. Okay. Uh, and we have, to, we have to look at that uh, in fashioning out a pastoral as a, a, an organic pastoral strategy to uh, respond to the different needs of Accra. Um, the, Accra can be deceptive, deceptive in the sense that you look at the beauty of Accra and you think everything is rosy. Okay. But there are so many poor people in Accra, okay. many vulnerable people in yeah. Accra. Uh, and these people, people who are marginalized in yeah. Accra, and these people need the attention of the church. And I want to avail myself to people of need, huh? okay. people who have been abandoned, people who are marginalized, people who are kind of forgotten in society. Mm -hmm. I think we have to bring the church closer to these people. Okay. Yeah. Madam Bishop, barely four years in Second Eta Krade. Yeah. What fond memories do you have of the Diocese of Second Eta Krade? Uh, thank you. I think I've already hinted. Um, I'm going to leave this diocese um, with a uh, 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 mindful of uh, the big support I got working with the priests. Okay. I will never forget that. Uh, the priests have really been, we have really worked here as brothers. And, and uh, I think it's actually inspired me a lot. It was a source of energy for me. Yeah. And I would always remember that. And of course, also the lay people, uh, very friendly lay people, we can laugh with, and of course, they can come to office at any time. You know, so these are people, the work, uh, uh, the relational aspect of the work uh, we, we did, uh, in, uh, in Takrade uh, would be something that I would always uh, remember. Uh. I know we have just started our, uh, preparing for our uh, 50th yeah. anniversary yeah. as a diocese. Yeah. There are so many, so many programs that have already been uh, uh, slated, uh, outlined yeah. to celebrate the 50th anniversary, yeah. as, uh, especially Dear to me is the renovation of our grottoes, yeah. the Ajam Grotto and also the Nawule Grotto, yeah. uh, or the Marian Shrines at Ajam and uh, Nawule. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Children's Hospital we are yeah. building. Yeah. And of course, the Bishop's Actually, House, yeah, yeah. because as you know, since I came, I'm uh, really staying 
beside my office yeah. because we don't really have a decent mm -hmm. uh, house to accommodate the division. So this, um, I would only wish that they could be achieved as early as possible mm -hmm. as part of the Jubilee or the Collet uh, programs. Okay. Yeah. So that's how uh, I'm going to leave uh, these uh, uh, projects halfway, but I believe the next person who is going to come or whoever would uh, be holding the fort would uh, push these projects to their successful end uh, so that we celebrate them as uh, projects uh, for of the Jubilee. Mm -hmm. So this will be some of the things I will, yeah. I will be remembering when I, I live here, Chris. The fraternity that uh, we lived here as priests for me is very, very important. Okay. Uh, and it, it inspires me and I will always remember that. Thank you. Bishop, what does the transfer of Bishop mean to the church in Ghana? Yeah, the church in Ghana is one family. And uh, anyone, anywhere who qualifies or who is deemed uh, able to do the ministry of a bishop can be appointed for the for that particular diocese. If you look at me, I come from uh, uh, I'm from Apawai, all right, from yeah. this diocese, yeah. but I belong to the Congregation of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. It's really not something new. Okay. But again, it's the nature of the church. Okay. Uh, the nature of the, the, the universality of the church uh, okay. is something we have to appreciate. Uh, so um, the need for a bishop in Accra has come up, and among us bishops, the, uh, the, 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 the Holy Father thinks I'm the one to move from Takradi to go okay. to Accra. Okay. I believe it's a work of the spirit. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I think uh, if um, you look at it from that, uh, that point of view, it helps us to see that. Or otherwise, the church becomes so much uh, that uh, the son of the soil mentality. Uh. Okay. okay. Uh, Bishop, your ministry in Takradi was inspired by your motto, Duke in Atu. Now going to Accra, what should you expect? A new motto <laughs> or the old one? Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, uh, this happened to me just uh, this morning at 11.30. I haven't thought of anything yet. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought of anything yet. But you know, Duke and uh, yeah. is something very inspirational for me. Okay. And uh, I, I may want to maintain that. Okay. Because uh, it brings together a whole strat pastoral strategy. Uh, and uh, it also uh, drives people into action. Uh, it moves people into action. Uh, uh, so I would want to really maintain that. If, okay. But again, I have really not uh, uh, thought of it. Okay. Yeah, because uh, the news just came out this morning. Okay. Uh, since uh, this thing was communicated to me, I've actually been very confused. I'm glad I was able to go through my pastoral work uh, over the weekend and uh, 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 the new year. Uh, okay. But gradually, I think I was settled spiritually okay. in order to know what God wants me. If God wants me to change it, I will change it. Okay. Uh, but I, I, have, I have to do that through prayer, okay. through prayer and of course through meditation okay. to see what, uh, and then look at Accra and see whether I have to come up with another motto or to maintain uh, uh, launch chin out to the thief. Father, how long do you have to stay with us before you move to Accra? Yes, um, that's another. Um, since I'm already a bishop, okay. the law is that uh, I should move to Accra within two months. Two months, okay. Yeah. If I'm not yet ordained bishop, then it will be three months. Three months, okay. Yeah. So yeah, these are things that we gradually will have to agree on okay. between myself and then uh, my dear and loving predecessor, I Bishop Pamabaka, okay. and to agree with the bishops' conference, the president of the bishops' conference, okay. and so the bishops will agree what will be the most convenient time to do the installation in Accra okay. and then move to Accra. Okay. Yeah. Madam Bishop, one of the comments from social media, specifically Facebook, when you posted the news of your appointment, to Accra, the new Archbishop elect was that the joy of Accra is the disappointment of Takradi. Oh, yeah. What would be your final message to the people of Takradi and to the church in Ghana? Yeah, uh, first of all, I'd say it's very refreshing to hear that Accra says 
their uh, joy is, uh, or their gain is a loss for Tapradi. It's very refreshing. And I thank you for uh, uh, mentioning that to me. Um, my message to the people of Tapradi, I am always uh, a Tapradi boy, you know. Yeah, I'm always a, always a Takrade boy. I would actually ask Takrade, my people in Takrade, the church people of Takrade, uh, uh, in Takrade, to continue to hold me in their prayer. That's what I can say. Hold me dearly in your prayers. Huh? As I go out to minister in Accra. Huh? And then uh, uh, always uh, remember that uh, I go to Takrade, but I'm from here. Going to work in Takrade. Accra. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm from here, going to work in Accra. So you hold me dear in your, in your prayers. I will also hold you dear or dearly in my own prayers. Um, let Accra always uh, remember that they have a son who is uh, now Bishop, uh, Archbishop uh, of Accra. Uh, and so for the, uh, the church in Ghana, I will say that let us uh, celebrate this uh, family spirit that uh, uh, or the oneness that uh, this appointment, appointment of this sort uh, uh, comes out with. Uh, Thank you me. very much my Lord Bishop. The newly appointed Bishop of the Archdiocese of Accra. Viewers, this has been Sector the Catholic TV. A very exclusive interview with the newly appointed Archbishop of Accra. Most Reverend John Bonaventure Kofi.